Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first running video with the Traxxas Sledge after a pretty hefty rebuild. We now have the KC RC motor mount and the center diff housing. Those come together uh, when you buy the motor mount. We have Traxxas ring and pinion gears front and rear. Uh, 50 thou weight in the front, 40 thou weight in the rear. Still running the Basher Queen carbon fiber shock towers. Uh, stainless steel screws, blue sealed bearings. Uh, the screws guys are just because I'm going to be running this truck in the winter and I do not want it to all go nasty rusting. But anyways, let's give this thing a couple of runs, see how she does. Now we are going to be taking it easy on this truck today. Again, it was guys pretty much torn right down. So I don't want to, uh, I won't be sending it too hard. It definitely guys sounds a lot better. Like the mesh itself, being able to adjust it exactly where you want it. I'll say that much. All right, let's get an eye from this angle. Should mention guys, I'm still running the 13 tooth pinion. That's nice. Ooh, there's a curb right there. There we go. There we go though. Definitely guys, one thing I will say for this truck, and I've said it in a couple of the videos, even though it's like it, it is heavy, this is just running that 2200 KV system. While well, it's running a Mama Monster XAS, but it's just running a 2200 KV. And it definitely guys feels really good. Whee! Like really good on it. As you can see, it moves. Coming. <laughs> yeah. Well, so far, guys, I'm happy, <laughs> which is something I haven't said in a long time for this truck. No issues, no noises. Actually, the only thing guys and I turned off my GoPro when I 
when it happened just to walk up to it and I forgot to turn it on. I actually got a rock stuck between, I don't know if you'd call it the outdrive. I guess it's the outdrive on the center diff and the motor and it actually jammed up. Woohoo! All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, come on. But again, I'm still having guys. It's gonna be a while before I get back to driving this truck the way I drive other trucks. It's got a lot of uh, making up to do, that's for sure. a lot of posts about people wanting to switch out these tires and you know I like these tires like I really like this sledgehammer tires I've had them in a lot of trucks and so I'm always kind of shocked when I see that because I've had them pretty much on my Haas and a lot of other trucks and I don't have an issue with them now I'm not performing triple quadruple backflips so if you're on that throttle for that long well hey we know what can happen there <laughs> oh, that looks like my old dog Waffle. All right, let's position things a little bit different. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, I think our battery can disconnect her. Disconnected. And that's even even switch guys to an XT90. Oh no, it switched off. Everything's still feeling pretty good though, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my mesh is still good. Everything's still holding snug and tight. So we're gonna keep running. All right, guys. I moved the ramp over there. Just try something a little bit different. Just a different spot. I'm going to try to get in front of the sun. But so far, guys, I'm I'm happy. <laughs> this truck does drive nice. I enjoy driving it. I love the way it looks. Those orange arms are killer. And uh, because so far, guys, this truck is holding up really nice. It's fast. And it's, yeah, I'm having fun with it today. A lot of fun with it today. All right, guys, we've got the ramp on its max setting. I'm not gonna do anything super crazy. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna take a couple of jumps at the max setting, and then I'm gonna drop it guys right down to the lowest setting. And we'll just kind of compare the air and see how it goes. Okay, <laughs> so as you can see, without a lot of speed, we still get some good height there. Whoa. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay. That's fun. That's a lot of fun.
Alright, let's just try a simple backflip off this. Yeah! Okay, we're gonna try it even slower. Nice! Okay. I'm liking that. Come on, there we go. You know, it's one thing that's a little weird is that you come out with the ramp and if you've got it on like that lower setting, and all of this guys is gonna be really obvious, but just hear me out. You come out with the ramp and then you know, you change the height and then everything behaves kind of completely different. And I know that's like, duh, no guff, but you're used to coming out with, let's say a fixed ramp and it just keeps behaving the same way over and over. When you do this, yeah, you gotta be kind of ready for it. As I ate a bunch of rocks there. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I hate, oh man, I hate to say this. So, I'm having some fun here. Uh, the KCRC motor mount holding strong, keeping my mesh the way it was supposed to be from factory. The Bar Basher Queen carbon fiber shock tower, same thing guys. Uh, those are a must, they need to be done right away. And again, my towers are perfect on this truck. Woohoo! And, uh, and the Traxxas ring and pinion gear, so the machined ring and pinion gear um, is also a must because you will destroy those ring, those stock kind of powdered metal garbage ring and pinion gears. Ooh, I hope, guys, I don't regret, regret getting excited right now because it was actually the last video, uh, I started going a little bit crazy and that's when that rear ring gear chipped. All right guys, I got the ramp now at its lowest setting. So we're gonna see how this goes. I don't even think I've, uh, maybe once. I may have tried the Mojave off this setting, I'm not sure. But let's see how we do. Whoa, <laughs> okay. That was a completely unexpected action. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, so that's boring. <laughs> I'm gonna try something. I'm just gonna try coming in slower. Yeah, that's that's not fun. <laughs> Some vehicles, it's fun. Some of my trucks, like my low C5B, might be something I take off this, but that's not fun. So we're just gonna quickly, guys, change this a little bit higher. All right, guys, we're back now. This is the second highest setting. Just a couple more jumps, and then we're gonna pack this thing in. It is super hot out here right now. Whee! Whoa. Okay, so that was nice, guys. That felt awesome. Kind of a nice lift off the ramp, and it just, that was, I like that. That was nice. Oh, come on. Oh, 
That was just totally my fault. I thought I was, I thought the truck was gonna do something else there. Guys, is the sledge gonna make it through a full run? Oh, yes! Okay. <laughs> I'm digging this thing now, guys. I think earlier on in this video, I said something about my confidence in this truck is gonna take a while to come back. But yeah. Oh, come on. I think it's back. this thing now is gonna hit a fence. Uh, this thing now is moving. Oh. I think though we may have. Oh, there's the noise. All right, guys, I am, ew, there's a scary bug there. I am absolutely roasting. So we are gonna pack things up. We're gonna head home and we're gonna talk about the run. All right, guys, we've got the truck home. We've got it back on the bench. It's still in one piece. It's still running. I'm, yeah, guys, I'm pretty happy right now. The truck was a lot of fun, and I hope that you can tell, because when I was watching back the footage, you can definitely see near the end of the video where I'm getting a little more, uh, you know, I don't want to say careless, but I'm having a little bit more fun. I'm kind of pulling the trigger. I'm doing stupid stuff, and the truck held up awesome. Besides from the fan going on my uh, X8S, which I did replace, guys, it's a bit overkill. So I had this KC RC fan. Um, it, as you guys can see, it's a pretty deep fan and I was able to just kind of, it's, it's a 40 millimeter fan. So it dropped right onto the Mama Monster X8S. It comes with like this three S sort of balance port kind of connector. You can do a couple of different ways guys, uh, with installing this fan. Obviously one, you could use a tiny three S battery or he also sells this little guy. So this will plug in here and then this would plug into the balance port on the six S battery. Now, the only thing I would watch is depending on what your uh, voltage cutoff is. So you wouldn't want it too low, like close to three, you know, let's say it's three volts per cell type thing. The only reason is, is that obviously the cells that are running the fan are going to be a little bit more drained than the rest of them. So as long as you're up somewhere, you know, 3.3, 3.4, I think you'd be pretty good to go. I'm going to keep kind of an eye on that just to see when I'm out. But again, I will guys be taking this fan off at some point because this I wanted to actually more use on a motor. Uh, but this was the only fan I had that would fit this ESC. Uh, quickly, one other thing, guys. This part right here, I'm going to bring you guys in closer so you can see it. Casey RC sells these with his fans also. And what I really like, guys, about this is when you're putting in an aftermarket ESC, we usually end up having a problem with actually trying to fasten the ESC. So we use zip ties like I've done. And I know with a few ESCs, I've kind of not crushed the fan, but you can tell that there's a little bit of pressure like right where the zip tie kind of tightens down right here. So by having this aluminum, I don't really want to call it, I don't know if you'd want to call it, it's not really a mount, but top of the fan, top fan mount, I don't know. Um, when you're zip tying, when you're tightening down that zip tie, it's obviously going to put pressure on the actual aluminum mount. Now, don't get me wrong, this fan is a pretty thick, uh, it looks like a composite plastic, so it's probably very, you know, strong. But at the same time, guys, uh, this thing just helps and it kind of keeps, you know, at least I don't have to worry now about my fan kind of flexing in or anything like that. But I really, guys, I've got to get this out here. I had a lot of fun with the truck. The Basher Queen carbon fiber shock towers held strong as usual. The KCRC motor mount, guys, held strong. It kept everything meshed nice. The Traxxas machined ring and pinion gears, same thing. Kept my diffs good. I didn't have any bad noises. Um, 
the diff how this diff guys uh housing mount i don't know i guess diff mount you want to call it it comes with the motor mount now with everything said guys i had an awesome i'm gonna say first run after the rebuild if you guys don't remember i had this truck almost completely torn apart and everything was good to go today now obviously it's going to take more than one run for me to be like woohoo sledge but i did enjoy it today it looks awesome running around the 2200 kv does get a little bit warm in this truck i'd like to either do a some type of fan mount or i may put the 1650 kv out of the mojave exb in here i do have the mount for that right there uh, so that might be coming, guys, sooner than later. I'd like to—I was going to try it anyways. I was going to install it just to see how it was. Um, but again, I really like the 2200 kV. I like that kind of high revving uh, motor. I just don't know about the temps because let's face it, this is a pretty heavy truck. Now, what I am going to show you guys though, because I think it's kind of funny, is I am going to install a battery and I'm going to show you guys this fan because believe it or not, this fan is actually blowing air slightly down the okay, chassis. So I got the battery in. I got it connected. This little guy here, again, you can get it off the website. So we plug that in to the fan. Now this thing is gonna make some noise. So as you guys can see, now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this fan is going to keep the motor cold or anything like that, but it just gives you guys an idea of how much air this fan is moving. Again, it is complete overkill for the Mama Monster X8S. Every time I've been out with this combo, um, I've never had any issues with heat at all with this ESC. So like I mentioned, it's only on here, guys, right now uh, until I can get a replacement fan for the ESC. I'm probably going to look again for something metal uh, that's, you know, 40 by 40 and then figure out something guys for the motor i like i keep mentioning i've mentioned this in every video guys of this truck i do really like the 2200 kv in it it was a blast today it moves it gets the truck up and running you can do wheelies no problem uh it's great for jumping it's great for doing backflips and stuff like that it's not as super snappy um like torque monster as let's say something like the 1730 kv that's in the creighton or if I had the big uh, 1650 in here. But it's still a lot of fun. And I, and I, I get kind of used to running these motors in trucks. So I don't know. We'll see. Like I mentioned, the 1650 will end up in this truck at one point, guys. So I can give it a try. That is it. I am so glad. You guys have no idea how glad I am to finally report that my sledge took a run. It took a run. We ripped it around. We jumped it. We launched it. We crashed it a few times. We did some backflips. Everything held together. Everything was awesome. Uh, and actually, guys, I wasn't even planning on doing that. You know, with taking everything apart, I thought, you know what, I'll go out, take a couple of small jumps, rip it around, bring it home, go over it, make sure all my screws and stuff were tight and nothing had backed off, make sure that I had loctited everything that I needed to. But you know what? I was having a lot of fun and I just was like, screw it. Let's just go enjoy this thing. And that's exactly, guys, what I did. There will still, and as always, guys, be a ton of content on this truck. I'm kind of thinking, you know, it's funny, the truck is doing what I didn't want it to do, and that's get me back into spending money on it. I was looking, Vitavon now has a chassis for it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge Vitavon person. I don't really have a lot of parts from them. I think actually the only Vitavon parts I have are the carbon fiber um, body panels that I have on my Rift. But I saw that Vitavon chassis and I thought, man, that would be nice. So who knows, guys, in the future, this truck... I, it's it's going to get some money. It's it, I'm going to do some fun stuff with it. I'm definitely going to customize it some more. But I do want to get out, put some more runs through it, bash this thing, jump it, launch it, do all that fun stuff, and make sure that everything is still holding up. Making sure that the Traxxas ring and pinion, those machine gears are holding up. Um, make sure that I can keep my pinions and spur uh, good to go. Like I said, after today's run, guys, everything's snug. Everything is awesome. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I certainly did. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, please subscribe, and have a great day.